Scooter Lane, Skateboard Alley. It's basically the same street, just separated by two mere houses. I'm on location at the Dirty 530, where these two rival groups have been feuding for years, decades even. It started out as juvenile pranks, a little tagging, a little stealing of the wheels. But now, it's not just about what you drive, it's about what drives you. I'm going to be talking to the last remaining survivor of this epic struggle. I'm going to be talking to him in a one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview, asking him how this became an epic struggle for survival instead of just child's play. You're watching Tree Top Action One News, the leading source in what's happening right here. Man, we were just out there having a good time. My buddies, man, they were Harley, Daniel, and Francisco. And there, we were just, we were just there. And then all of a sudden, it happened. But we were just having a good time, living life to its fullest. I was pulling off that triple jump ollie like I was trying to. And I'm just, I wish, I wish I can take that. I wish I can take it back, man. All of it back. What was the first thought that occurred when you found out that you were homosexual? Wait, what did you say? I said, uh, what was the first thought that occurred when this event happened? Oh, my first thought. My first thought. Like, I'm gonna get shot. I'm a dead man. I don't know how I'm gonna tell my mama or my baby's mama, but I'm gonna get shot. Why do you think the skaters did this? Well, at first, it was just the four-wheelers riding with the two-wheelers. All of a sudden, the four-wheelers were like, we're cool. And then two of us were like, no, man, we're cool. We're like this. And then we were like that. Not this. We were this, but now we're just this. But we were this. And now we're this. And not this anymore. And that's, that's how it was. How do you feel? personally responsible. Well, it's because I'm the leader. I'm supposed to look after them. I mean, I'm their piece to their pod. I am their cushions to their couch. I am their square pants to their sponge bob. I mean, I was the leader. I held the meetings. I ran the bake sales. And I did all of that. And I can't believe I let them down. Now, do you feel that your sexual orientation has changed during this traumatic event? Wait, what did you just ask me? I said, um, if you were an ice cream flavor, what flavor would you be? Well, I would be cookies. You know, we're trying to have an interview, and you're just being stupid, okay? I'm about to knock you up on the side of the head with, well, no. dude, Get this camera out of my...